very good morning to all the students of class 10th d beta so we are going to continue the chapter madam rides the bus and characters you can see on the board already discussed because we have been doing this chapter for two days now so this is the third day so you are very well known to all the characters valli ammai that is protagonist valli 8 year old girl then we have bus conductor bus driver valli's mother but she doesn't have that role in the chapter but even then they are the characters neighbors and passengers those who are riding the same bus where valli is going so valli has the wish to uh, ride the bus and then that wish changed into her passion and that the only uh, desire that strong desire she had in life and she started collecting money also and then she boarded the bus one day when her mother was sleeping and she sneaked into the bus and she started behaving as if she is an elderly woman so bus conductor who is very jovial in nature very funny in nature he also starts talking with the valli in a nice way in a funny way and he starts uh, you know he starts addressing her as madam fine so madam word who is using for valli that is conductor that's why name of the bus is madam rides the bus because she does not you know take conductor's help while boarding the bus she stands on the seat to have a outer view and then if one of the men in the bus uh, one of the men stops him or for standing on the seat then she feels irritated that eventually she sits when she saw so many passengers were also boarding the bus initially they were very few in number and she just wanted to reach the town and the same bus will go back uh, come back to his own uh, village then she will be sitting there in the bus only she won't be getting off uh, uh, there from the bus so that was the plan she just wanted to enjoy the ride of the bus that's it okay so we are going to continue that so far that one old woman she came and sat along with valli and she started you know calling her you can say she started asking about her life why she was traveling alone and or valli gets irritated she doesn't like the way that woman looks uh, with uh, big ear lobes and uh, very different kind of earring she is wearing and she is very uh, like having a uh, pokey attitude she wants to know about valli and valli doesn't like it at all so part 2 we have read so far okay now we are question answers were also done on page 122 those who uh, lost their connection yesterday they can see the youtube video of 12th january for the question answers now part 3 on the same page 122 okay let's continue i'm going to share the screen with you all yes beta you can see screen is visible to you all so her first journey students are still joining yes those who have joined beta let's continue from page 122 her first journey what careful pains taking elaborate plan she had had to make for it she had thriftily saved money wait Yes, thriftily spent money carefully. Are you there, beta? Voice is clear. Yes. So, uh, her first journey, but careful, painstaking, elaborate plan she had had to make for it. She had thriftily saved whatever stray coins came her way, whatever money she was getting, she was collecting, resisting every temptation to buy peppermints, toys, balloons, and the like. And finally, she had saved a total of sixty paise. Please underline. Very important. How did she save money for her journey? This is this chapter is all about her journey, so this is very important. You should know how she collected money. Underline this that she wanted to eat. peppermints then she wanted to enjoy uh, to play with balloons and toys and but she saved her every single penny to get 60 paise how difficult it had been for her for even then she saved she even resisted her uh, strong desire to ride the merry go round she didn't take swings and slides also even though she had the money right Would you please join well in time? Those are who are joining after all the introduction is done. I kept on doing this thing only in number of times. I told you there is no Rohan in our class, so I won't be 
uh, giving admission, uh, you can say if you are logging in from your official names of your class and all, then only you will get login. Otherwise, I will not allow. Please make sure. Or you have to take the prior permission before logging in. After she had enough money saved, her next problem was how to slip off the house. So one problem is solved. She resisted her temptation. She did not eat all those things she wanted to eat. She wanted to enjoy the ride. She did not take. She wanted to buy a toy. She did not buy toys also. But she wanted to just get collect the fare. So she saved 60 paise, 30 paise for going to the town, 30 paise for the return. So after she had enough money saved, her next problem was how to slip out of the house without her mother's knowledge. But she managed this without too much difficulty. Every day after lunch, her mother would nap from about one to four or so. Wally always used three these hours for her excursions as she stood looking from the doorway of her house. So excursions are, you know, our, uh, when you go travels, different kind of traveling ways, Excursion is that when you go out to, to visit some place, fine. So uh, her mother would, you know, take a good time uh, for nap after having lunch. She would uh, rest for two, three hours and clear. Yeah. And now she thought of this plan that when her mother will be sleeping, she would sneak out of the house and definitely she will relish this excursion. And sometimes even ventured out into the village and she would all. Uh, already she was doing this, using this time when her mother used to sleep uh, during the afternoon. She would come out of the house, she would go to in, into the village and uh, these same hours could be used for her first excursion outside the village. So this was the first time when she was thinking of leaving the village. She never left the village earlier. She would go into his own village, visit here and there and come back before her mother got up. But this time she's going to board the bus. Eight-year-old child boarding the bus is not common. So the bus rolled on now, cutting across a bare landscape, now rushing through a tiny ham, uh, a hamlet or past an odd wayside shop. Sometimes the bus seemed on the point of gobbling up another vehicle that was coming, uh, coming towards them or a pedestrian crossing the road, but somehow it passed on smoothly leaving all obstacles safely behind. Uh, those, uh, who, my voice is audible to all. Please uh, send me thumbs up. I'm checking those who are attending the class first. Jaldi say, send me thumbs up. Yes, Bissam is almost. So Vivan, if, uh, if one or the other child will be creating troubles, here, I will remove you either from the meeting or I will block that child permanently. If any of the things from your side, okay? Even then, Princey voice is breaking, but recording goes on smoothly. That happened yesterday also. Fine. So you can see the YouTube lecture also. If, if you miss any content, even question answers were recorded yesterday with what we discussed. Connection problem always remain there. Network issues are there, not with the system. So let's continue. So now the bus was passing through landscape area and, uh, you know, wayside shop and different experiences she had. Somehow, uh, leaving all the obstacles, all the difficulties safely behind, trees came running towards them, but then stopped as the bus reached them. So it doesn't mean that trees were running, actually. Trees seem like moving as if they're running. So bus was moving actually. When bus came to a halt, it stopped. We simply stood there helpless for a moment by the side of the road before rushing away in the other direction. So suddenly, Wally clapped her hands with glee. Glee means happiness. A young cow, tail high in the air. But now this incident you have to remember. Now see, Wally thought that life is bed of roses. Life is all about what you want, fulfilling your desires. And, you know, she has just learned about life. She has never eyewitnessed a death. She has not seen that even, uh, you know, it is a, sometimes some incidents happen in our life. They are there to teach us a lesson. So one incident is going to happen now. Wally is traveling through a bus just for the sake of getting experience. And suddenly Wally started clapping her hands with happiness. A young cow, tail high in the air. Uh, you know, uh, that cow has, uh, she was moving her tail in the air, was running very fast, right in the middle of the road. 
right in front of the bus. The bus slowed to a crawl. And the driver sounded his horn loudly again and again. But the more he honked, the more frightened the animal became and the faster it galloped, always right in front of the bus. So this incident happened in the same bus where Gully was traveling and that the cow started running in front of the bus. Bus driver slowed down the speed. It was giving the horns uh, very loudly, but the more he was putting the horn on, the cow was getting frightened, the animals were getting frightened and more frequently it was coming in front of the bus. So Wally relished to the side, she started clapping, ki wow, by seeing this, the cow is running and all, being an eight-year-old child. You can see in this picture, Vita, how they are going in the bus and they are supposed to move here and already a cow was running here and there. So it can lead to some accidents also. Somehow this was very funny to Wally. So this seems to be very funny to Wally. She laughed and laughed until there were tears in her eyes. So, you know, children are like that only. They start laughing on things even, even we do not feel funny, right? It's their own imagination. They live in their own imaginary world. So she found it so funny, even if, even if an adult person or elderly person will watch this, they will not take it that funny as a child can take. So she was so laughing badly by seeing this incident of cow running in front of the bus. Hey, lady, haven't you laughed enough? Called the conductor. Better save some for tomorrow. The conductor stopped him. Then at last the cow moved off the road and soon the bus came to a railroad crossing. A speck of a train could be seen in the distance, growing bigger and bigger as it drew near. Then it rushed past the crossing gate with a tremendous roar and rattle, shaking the bus. Then the bus went on and passed the train station. From there it traversed a busy well layout shopping street and turning entered a wider thoroughfare. So different experiences Wally is enjoying. You know that Wally is fond of looking outside the gate of her house, standing for hours looking at the people. And now she got the chance to board the bus. She's not missing a single second. She's looking outside, relishing the outside beauty. Uh, Kabi, she's offering from that uh, landscape. Uh, then she now she's... Now she saw outside that uh, a view of the train was there, which was growing bigger and bigger. And then uh, bus went on. Then what happened? Such big, bright looking shops, what glittering displays of clothes and other merchandise, such big crowds. Struck dumb with wonder, Wally gaped at everything. You know, now she was looking at the market uh, hey, lady, said the conductor, aren't you ready to get off? This is as far as your 30 paise takes you. So conductor gives a reminder to Wally that already you spent 30 paise for the ticket and 30 paise tak nahi aa sakte the. Now would you like to get off? And handed the coins to the conductor. She took another 30 paise. Why? Is something the matter? No, nothing is the matter. I just felt like having a bus ride. That's all. Look at the bus. Mujhe bus ride leni thi. I want to go back now. Don't you want to have a look at the sights now that you are here? So conductor said, there are so many beautiful things to see if you want to. All by myself. Oh, hi, I would be uh, much afraid. She's Now she's aware that if I get off the bus, it can be any problem to me. Greatly amused by the girl's way of speaking, the conductor said, but you were not afraid to come in the bus. So see the conversation. Conductor is saying, you are not afraid of boarding the bus all alone. Nothing to be afraid of about that, she answered. Well, then why don't go to that shell, that stall over there and have something to drink? Nothing to be afraid of about that either. So, so conductor is suggesting her, you can have a drink, you can get down. Oh no, I couldn't do that. Well, then let me bring you a cold drink. So he offers that if you don't want to get off, I will bring you. No, I don't have enough money. Just give me my ticket. That's all. So see the smartness of the girl, eight-year-old girl. She knows the value of self-dependency and uh, her ego. And uh, you can say in a good way. And she was not like taking money or pay, you can say things for free from others. She knows this, that we are not supposed to take anything from the strangers. So she's very smart. She says, no, I don't have money. Just give me my ticket. That's all. It will be my treat and not cost you anything. No, no. She said firmly. So bus conductor said, it is my treat. I will not take you money. Uh, I will not take money from you. So you can, uh, you can say, get that for free. She said, no, please no. The conductor shrugged and they waited until it was time for the bus to begin the return journey. Again, there were not 
many passengers so what happened in part 3 in part 3 we read that how valli uh, different side of valli we have seen in this in this part that how valli is independent though 8 year old she knows the difference of uh, she knows that she will not get off the bus if bus goes here and there and she might get lost also she doesn't take anything from the stranger also that shows that she's a smart girl very uh, you can say clever and uh, understanding nature she is having that she is not taking anything for free and she also paid for her return journey to the conductor okay now you will raise hand for the question answers how did valli save up money for her first journey maine aapko underline karwa diya hai was it easy for her iska answer aapko dena hai second part ka was it easy for her how did valli save up money for her first journey you will tell me raise your hands beta jaldi se bhanu pratap you know the answer haan ji bhanu give me the answer of this question those who will not answer they are absent make sure ma'am valli had carefully uh, saved coins that came her way resisting every temptation to buy peppermint toys balloons finally she had saved 60 paise and she also no it was not easy for she you also need to mention that she also resisted her desire to go to merry go round all things you have to mention okay yes fine you can mute yourself okay bhanu uh, who will tell me was it easy manmeet singh can you speak beta manmeet singh was it easy for valli to collect money or it was difficult for her those who will not answer they are absent make sure those who know the answer can raise hand to speak archi can you answer this beta was it easy for valli it was difficult particularly that day at the village fair but she had resolutely uh, slipped a strong desire to ride the merry go round even though she had the money okay beta so you can mute yourself so how did valli save money uh, valli thriftily saved uh, every coin that came her way she resisted the temptation of buying peppermint toys balloons she also stopped the desire of having a ride on the merry go round around then you will change the paragraph no it was not it was not easy for valli to uh, stop that temptation uh, of all the things uh, she was so fond of eating but she resisted the desire uh, of all those things because the more stronger desire was to ride the bus so for that she saved the money so it was not that easy for her it was difficult but she did that so what did valli see on her way that made her laugh very easy question who will answer this please raise your hand yes divyansh you want to answer Valli saw a young cow tail high in the air, running very fast, right in the middle of the road, in front of the bus. The driver sounded his horn again and again so that the cow moves away. So she kept on clapping her hands, and that shows. You can mute yourself, brother. So uh, suddenly, Valli saw something funny. It made her laugh. Young cow was running fast, just in the middle of the road. Her tail was raised up high in the air. and uh, driver was blowing the horn again and again loudly but the more he honked the horn the more frightened it became and started running fine so that made valli uh, very much she was into where she laughed so much that until her unless tears came out of her eyes and then conductor asked her to stop laughing she can have her laugh on the very next day he said why didn't she get off the bus at the bus station according to you anybody why did valli why didn't she get off the bus at the bus station uh when bus came to a halt uh where passengers could get off she kept on sitting in the bus and uh, conductor asked her 
reminded her that her destination had come, but Valli handed him thirty paise more, telling that she was going back to the same bus. She just wanted to have bus ride. That's why she did not get off. She wanted to go back to her house before her mother wakes up. That's why she kept on sitting in the bus. Moreover, she was very aware girl who knows that if she gets off the bus, it might be troublesome for her at this age. So that's why she decided not to get off the bus. She just wanted to have a bus ride, and her purpose was solved. That's it. So she was smart enough by taking this decision. Why did not Valli want to go to the stall and have a drink? What does this tell you about her? Already discussed with you, beta. The conductor offered to bring a cold drink for Valli. She refused to accept the offer, and he she said he she doesn't have enough money. When bus conductor says that she will pay for her, even then she did not. Even then she refused to take free cold drink. This incident shows that she was a self-respecting girl who has good moral values. Who does not want to take free things from the strangers? So that shows she was very aware girl, mature girl, even at the age of eight. Okay, is that clear, beta? Please send me feedback if it's clear to you all. Now we are going to read part number four, and please start sending your notebooks also. Part four, हमारा अभी read हो जाएगा. and question answer side by side we are doing fir uske baad back exercises pe bhi 127 page pe a lot of because there are few questions are there let's try if we can finish this today let's continue part number 4 won't your mother be looking for you the conductor asked when he gave the girl her ticket no no one will be looking for me she said the bus started and again there were the same wonderful sights again you know because the return journey started and again same sights will be there the landscape sometimes the mountain sometimes the busy area valli was not bored in the slightest and greeted everything with the same excitement she would felt the first time so this time also though she had i witnessed the uh, all the things through the way but even then now she is more excited she is looking at each and everything equally suddenly but now one incident of her life beta please pay attention to that cow incident very important question but suddenly she saw a young cow lying dead by the roadside just where it had been struck by some fast moving vehicle so this is also uh, this one of the basic sub themes that please save animals and do not you know these fast paced vehicle these days they are crushing the people these days and what about the animals fine so that same cow actually which she saw and she was so happy about it that how cow was running in a funny way the same cow some other vehicle crossed over it and she died on the spot dead body or you can say carcass carcass is the word for dead bodies of animals carcass of the cow was lying on the road side so that fast moving vehicle passed over it isn't that the same cow that ran in front of the bus on our trip to town she asked the conductor the conductor nodded so she asked conductor same cow hai na he said yes she was overcome with sadness suddenly that over excited happy go lucky jovial girl became very sad what had been a lovable beautiful creature just a little while ago had now suddenly lost its charm and its life and looked so horrible so frightening as it lay there legs spread eagled a fixed spread eagled means spread out a fixed stare in its lifeless eyes blood all over So suddenly she was so happy about seeing that cow, and suddenly she was so sad after seeing the dead body of the carcass of that cow, blood all over, lifeless eyes. The bus moved on. The memory of the dead cow haunted her, dampening her enthusiasm. Dampening, मतलब she lost her enthusiasm. She left it somewhere. She no longer wanted to look out of the window. She sat thus glued to her seat until the bus reached her village at thirty three forty. Bus reached back. she did not look outside she came uh, to ride the bus just to have experiences to look from the window and relish it but now after seeing that incident of dead cow she is not doing so she stood up and stretched herself then she turned to the conductor and said well sir i hope to see you again okay madam he answered her smiling whenever you feel like a bus ride come and join us and don't forget to bring your fare so she had very good relation with that conductor for a while she laughed and jumped down from the bus then away she went running straight for home when she entered her house she found her mother awake and talking to one of valli's aunts 
the one from south street this art was a real chatterbox never closing her mouth once she started talking to jab wo ali ghar pahunchti hai uski mother ek aunt se baat kar rahi hoti hai and that aunt was very talkative but he chatterbox is a person who speaks a lot and where have you been said her aunt when wali came in she spoke very casually not expecting a reply so wali just smiled and her mother and aunt went on with her with their conversation you know mother did not notice that wali because wali used to go to visit village into the village here and there to the neighbors other uh, other times also so mother did not notice that she has boarded the bus and she had traveled over there so that even that aunt asked a question without looking for the answer casually kahan pe the and she smiled and wali entered and then both the ladies resumed their conversation and even when we do not do know about something we often can't understand it completely can we oh yes breathed wali what asked her mother what's that you say actually mother and uh, that chatterbox aunt they are talking about something else वो आपस में कोई बात कर रहे हैं उसने एक स्टेटमेंट दी सो मेनी थिंग्स इन अवर मिडिस्ट एंड इन द वर्ल्ड आउटसाइड हाउ कैन वी पॉसिबली नो अबाउट एवरीथिंग एंड इवन व्हेन वी डू नो अबाउट समथिंग वी ऑफन कांट अंडरस्टैंड इट कंप्लीटली कैन वी सो उसकी मदर कह रही थी कि बहुत सारी चीजें हैं वर्ल्ड में देखने के लिए एंड इट्स नॉट कंपल्सरी दैट वी अंडरस्टैंड इच एंड एवरीथिंग विच वी सी सो वट वी शुड डू वी ऑफन कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट कंप्लीटली and even when we do know about something agar hum kisi cheez ke bare mein jante bhi hai even then we cannot understand it completely it is out of our comfort zone it is out of our understanding and wali nodded yes kehti yes uski mother kehti what what do you say aap kyu bol rahe ho oh said wali i was just agreeing with what you said about things happening without our knowledge so wali kehti ha hamari knowledge ke ilawa kuch bhi jo bahar ho raha hai i was just saying yes to your conversation ki ha aap sahi keh rahe ho just a chit of a girl she is she is said her aunt now you know people have the habit of uh, judging others so that lady who speaks a lot wo judge karti hai avalli ko that how she speaks kehti itni choti si ladki just a chit of a girl and she is and said her aunt and yet look how she pokes nose into our conversation hamari baaton mein dakhal de rahi hai poking nose like taking interest in some other talks by uh, talking by someone else or in in another's business when you are interfering just as though she were a grown up lady kehte hain jaise koi grown up lady ho why she is con- uh, interfering into our conversation wali smiled to herself she did not want them to understand her smile but then there was not much chance of that was there so this is a question posed by the uh, writer ki koi wo smile isliye kar rahi thi she was trying to hide that she has taken ride in the bus she had that bad experience of uh, dead body of cow and she saw she had good experiences of conversation with bus conductor and other people she had good experiences of beautiful sights and sounds of nature which she relished from the door uh, from the window of that bus uh, then what what was wali's deepest desire jaldi se beta bell hone wali but i want kim discuss kar le so that you can do tomorrow is holiday and you can do it then accordingly what was wali's deepest desire the deepest desire of wali was to enjoy a bus ride the bus piled from her village to the nearest town uh words and phrases in the story that tell you about this what are the words and stories uh there are many words beta fascinating things sight of the bus unending joy tiny wish overwhelming desire all words are there in your book fine these are the phrases which tell us about wali's deepest desire how did wali plan her bus ride what did she find out about the bus and how did she save up the fare uh, wali did a lot of planning for the bus riding actually she saved same thing we have discussed she will save how she saved 60 paise resisting her temptation she listened to the conversations of the neighbors and she saw regular commuters of the bus she even questioned uh, many of them to get how to get the details of the bus journey then she planned her journey fine and how she Saved the fair. Same answer here. What kind of person is Wali to answer this question? Pick out the following sentences from the text and fill in the blanks. The words you fill in there are clues to your answer. First is stop the bus. Stop the bus. ये क्या show करता है? Commandingly. This word, this uh, dialogue is sent uh, said in a way commanding way. Fine. Next is yes, I go to town. Said Wali, still standing outside the bus. 
यू डू इट ऑन योर ऑन बेटा दिस यू नीड नॉट डू इन द नोटबुक क्लियर ये वाला क्वेश्चन आपको नोटबुक में नहीं करना है वाई डज द कंडक्टर रेफर टू वल्ली एज अ मैडम so valli was just 8 years old but she the way she behaved was quite uh, mature she made it clear that she can take care of herself all alone so the conductor who was fond of joking she called her madam out of uh, you can say uh, by seeing her, her maturity she was behaving as if she was a grown up woman so that's why conductor started addressing her as madam fine again sixth question you will do in the notebook why does wali refuse to look out of the window on her way back here you will mention the cow incident okay beta lifeless eyes blood all over that last lines where we have read about cow then what does wali mean when she says i was just agreeing with what you said ye last wala bahut important hai yahan pe hame aapko clear karna padega that wali returned home after bus ride at that time her mother was talking with the one of the aunts in the neighborhood and they were taking they were talking about the things happening without her knowledge in the world wali agreed to this view point because she was having that bus journey in her mind there are many things in the during the bus journey that are happening and she didn't know about it sometimes we know and we do not understand she was also referring to that cow incident fine she was also referring to many experiences of the bus so in that way okay that's all all these questions you will do clear and uh, that's all happy lohri to all of you and happy makar sakranti to have a nice day with us